The International Air Transport Association, or IATA, says it's in the final stage of developing a COVID-19 travel pass. It's part of efforts to speed up the reopening of borders. The digital pass will help passengers manage essentials such as coronavirus test results and proof of vaccination for airlines and authorities. It will also detail the nearest testing or vaccination centres. But it's still a bleak outlook for the aviation industry. Ayata warns airlines are on track to lose $175 billion this year and next. That's more than the amount forecast in June. The association says next year will just be the beginning of a long road to recovery. And for more, Alexander Dijuniak, Ayata's Director General and CEO, joins us live from Geneva. Well, why has there been a further downgrade of the outlook despite, you know, the recent positive news on the vaccine front? I mean, Ayata has also said that, you know, this forecast, this downgraded forecast is on the premise that there's reopening of certain borders. Uh, we have downgraded our forecast because the last one was uh, dating from July. You know, in July, we had hopes that the recovery uh, uh, could be uh, faster and stronger. Uh, because the figures of the traffic were were better, and in August um, the, the the traffic stalled and then dropped due to the arrival of the second wave uh, in Europe, the third wave in North America, and um, so the the um, the figures of the traffic uh, have been much worse than expected in July. So we have uh, redone our estimate, and now the we. We uh, value the, the the losses for the industry at one hundred and eighteen billion dollars for for the end of twenty twenty, so which is a significant deterioration, but explained by the deterioration in the traffic. Well, uh, Ayata has said, you know, it expects uh, air traffic to be, the pre twenty nineteen levels of traffic to only resume around twenty twenty four. So, which regions do you think will recover the fastest? You know, first of all, we think that the, the big domestic market uh, will recover, provided, you know, government lifts the, the, the all travel restrictions. We have the good example of China, uh, uh, in which your know, domestic market has almost completely recovered and, um, and is back to the 2019 figures, first of all. Um, could be the, uh, the case also of North America and, uh, and, and, and other big uh, domestic market. In terms of regions, you know, uh, um, we expect Asia to recover probably um, um, the first because you, you have several countries in the region that have successfully fought against uh, the virus and which are organizing uh, um, the, the routes or the travel and the processes for health control of passengers uh, between them. You know, the future bubble between uh, Singapore and Hong Kong is a good example of that. Then we should see uh, um, uh, North America, Europe, and Middle East recovering in a, a slightly, slightly later. So that's a, an important point. The, the other point is that we think that long haul, um, long haul travel uh, will be one year late compared to short and mid haul travel. Well, uh, Ayata now has this travel pass. So, uh, how many countries are likely to be involved? Uh, you know, our, our, our aim is to uh, uh, provide this app for all our members and all our countries. Uh, and, you know, the purpose of this app, of this travel pass, is a kind of complement of a systematic testing process that, we'll, that we recommend to implement everywhere to be sure that we fly people who present a very, very low risk of being infected, and secondly, of the vaccine as well. Because you will need um, a kind of certification process uh, that will certify that either you have been vaccinated or you have been tested, you have been tested negatively. This information will have to flow from the lab or the, or the uh, uh, test um, areas to the passenger and to the airline and probably to the government uh, to, to, uh, to be sure that everything is in order and is in accordance with travel requirements. And that's where our app is very strong. We have all the travel requirements that have been issued by all government and territory everywhere in the world. And it's updated, you know, second after second. Uh, we will have a list of vaccination centers, of test centers that will be available for passengers and all of that 
you know, will provide the right information to the right authorities or the right people, and of course, to the passengers to be used to secure uh, their travel. And that's a key element. Jangan lupa like dan subscribe.